שלום עליכם רבותיי, שלום עליכם. בעזרת השם ידמי אותו וצדיק רבי חיים פינטו, וידמי אותו וצדיק רבי משה אהרון פינטו, מהקדוש ברוך הוא בעת השם גבירון ביג, ברכה והצלחה, בסייעתא דשמיא גדולה, מלכדה אלמוג וכל כל ויסק את כל, מהקדוש ברוך הוא בעת השם אופן דגית צפר נסע, דגית צפר נסועה, דגית צפר זיווג, דגית צפר מזל, מהקדוש ברוך הוא בעת השם ספר איצ'ן אברי וואן אבר הולי קהילה, שפע עד בלי די, מהקדוש ברוך הוא אקספט אול אר פרד ברצון. And may, and may each and every one of our hearts wishes be fulfilled, and may all our negativity be attached and turn into positivity. Amen. Amen. Now, but I, today, I would like to speak about a thought that I've been thinking of a lot, that I think could be very helpful for a lot of people. And I think it's very important for right now, the situation that we are, the situation the world is in, to help us get a better understanding of where we stand in all this chaos. Now, but I, in the last three months, there is not a person that... We know that hasn't come forward and hasn't expressed his sufferings and expressed uh, the troubles that he is enduring and the troubles that the Kadosh Baruch Hu, uh, 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 brought to him. And essentially, Abu Tayyip, we've all been affected. Whether if it's one's panasa, whether if it's one's zivu, whether if it's one's uh, uh, health, whatever it is. There's not a person that we don't know Abu Tayyip that in the last few months hasn't been affected negatively from all the chaos that is happening in the world. But the real question is about time, and this is what a lot of people have, is why all this trouble? What did we do wrong to deserve all this? A lot of the time we come to these thoughts where we say, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is acting in a way of such judgment where he doesn't even let, he doesn't give us a break. If it's not here, it's there. If it's not there, it's here. And we sit down and we think, we say, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, our Father, you're supposed to act with us with, with kindness, with a... With, uh, with the goodness. But here, nothing seems to be good. It all seems to be complete judgment. So where really do we stand in all this chaos that's existing in the world right now? So Rabbi you know we have to understand the very core fundamental rule. This is a rule that we need to hold on our entire life, we have to put in our pocket, and we need to remember it at each step of our journey of our life. And that is the core attribute in the essence of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Zohar HaKadosh says, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu's core and HaKadosh Baruch Hu's essence and what gives existence to the world is one thing. It's HaKadosh Baruch Hu's main attribute. What is his main attribute? Kindness. Where Arizal brings in the name of Zohar HaKadosh and Chaim, where when HaKadosh Baruch Hu created the world, he had one thought. That this thought was essentially the, the, what, what followed the creation. And this thought was what essentially what began the creation. It was what? Arizal says, רצה הקדוש ברוך הוא להציל את הנאצלים. הקדוש ברוך הוא had one thought. He wanted to save those who need to be saved. Where הקדוש ברוך הוא wanted to be a savior. He wanted to help. He wanted to give. And that is essentially the core of the 13 מידות, of the 13 attributes of הקדוש ברוך הוא. What are the 13 attributes? אל רחום וחנון איך הפעמים ורב חסד. הקדוש ברוך הוא's core is what? It's complete kindness. There is no bad that הקדוש ברוך הוא brings to the world. There is no negative that הקדוש ברוך הוא brings to the world. Everything that we endure in our life, it is all for our good, it is all for our best. The problem is that being in a material world, and being in a world where we only see what's in front of us, a lot of the times we're not able to see, really, what is the reason behind all the things that HaKadosh Baruch Hu bring to our world. Some can be seen as positive, some can be seen as negative. And sometimes when we look at all these negative things and all these things that HaKadosh Baruch Hu brings down to the world, and we say, why? But really these negative things are what? They're complete kindness. But sometimes Abotai, complete kindness doesn't come in the form of complete kindness. Sometimes complete kindness comes in the form of something that looks to be like judgment. We know Abotai with the Zohar Kazu says that when judgment comes down to the world, when the Satan receives permission to... Uh, act upon uh, the grasp that was given to him by our sins, the Zohar Kedush says that he does not rest until he brings that judgment to a fruition. Where judgment that comes down cannot be cancelled, but can only be transferred. Where whenever there is a bad thing that's supposed to happen to the world, the Kedush Baruch cannot, cannot just cancel it. He needs to transfer that judgment, to transfer that impact to another entity, to absorb all that negativity in order to save his children. Where we say, When a person, after he sinned, he did teshuva, he did, and he did mitzvot, and he did tefillah, he did tzedakah, the, the punishment gets transferred, not cancelled. 
Now, but then we see all these things that are happening to our world that to some, they are useless. To some, they are ridiculous, all the troubles that we are suffering. In previous generations, they suffered and they endured much worse things. When we see Abutai, all these troubles that we are going through, all these neg negative things that we are enduring, we don't even able to start to begin to see what really could have happened, what maybe what was supposed to happen, but really HaKadosh Baruch Hu transferred all that judgment to other places, to things that, that yes, they are bad, but they are livable. We are able to overcome them. We're, we're not really Abutai going to be able to understand why HaKadosh Baruch Hu is doing all what he's doing now in the world. There is no prophet that can explain and can tell you right now why exactly there is all these troubles. Every person will receive his answers at a more meaningful time. At a time when, uh, where uh, things will become more meaningful, things will become more genuine after 120 years. But for now, we cannot Abutai, even start to begin to understand what kindness HaKadosh Baruch is giving to us and each and every one of us by with whatever sufferings we are going through, because we don't know about that, what really would, was supposed to happen, and what HaKadosh Baruch is doing in order to avoid something much worse. And that about that is essentially what we need to hold on to in our, in our thoughts. We need to always remember that HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants our good. And sometimes it could seem to be a hit, but it's really complete sweetness. You know, about that, there's a story of an Admur that really touched me, and I think it, it will bring many, a lot of inspiration to many. It said about a big Admur that was a big tzaddik, that after he got married, for many years, he was not able to bring children. And he prayed and he cried and he shook the heaven for HaKadosh Baruch to bless him, to have a kid. After many, many years of praying and of suffering, it says that HaKadosh Baruch blessed him with a young daughter. And this young daughter, for this Admo, was everything. It was his life. His entire life was a build-up to pass it on. Anything he has to his, to his, to his, to his kids, to his next generation that would follow. When the daughter grew up to the age of four or five, unfortunately there was a plague that happened in the world and she got sick and the doctors tried to save her and unfortunately she passed away. It says that all the, the city, when they heard that the only daughter that Admo passed away, they were all completely heartbroken. They said, how is the Admo, after so many years of praying for kids, going to deal with the loss of his only child? So thousands of people gathered in the cemetery to comfort the Admo, to, to, uh, to uh, bring a... Uh, uh, to help the Admo mourn. And when they arrive to the cemetery, the burial, to everyone's surprise, they see that the Admo is laughing and he's smiling. So the entire Keilah, they said, what is wrong with the Admo? He just lost his only daughter and he's smiling and he's laughing. It's something that seems to be ridiculous. So they came to the Admo and they said, Admo, do you understand that your daughter passed away? Maybe you're not understanding it. So the Admo looked at them and he started to laugh. And he said, I want to explain to you what happened to me when I heard that my daughter passed away and the thought that I had in order to comfort myself in order to understand the truth. He said, I will tell you an analogy. He said, it's like when you're walking in the street one time and suddenly you feel in the back of your, of your shoulder a hit where someone comes and hits you. The first thought that comes to your mind is what? You want to turn around, you want to scream, you want to act with rage, you want to hit back that person that, that, that harmed you. You want to react. And the person turns around, preparing to be full of, of judgment. And suddenly, what does he see? You see that who hit him? His best friend. Or well, sometimes, you know, it's his best friend that you haven't seen in a long time. He sees you in, uh, in public, comes from the back, and he hits you to surprise you. When that person turned around, what happened? And you see that it's his best friend that hit him. What happened to all that rage? What happened to all that anger? What happened to all that sadness? In one second, what happens to it? It disappears. He jumps on his friend, he hugs him, he says, Ah, even though that I felt a hit, but when I turned and when I saw that it was you, it made me happy. So the Admo said, when my daughter passed away, I was full of rage. I wanted to turn around, I wanted to scream, I wanted to complain. But when I turned and I saw that, look, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave and he took, I couldn't be angry at HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So even though this terrible, tragic thing that happened to me, the Admo said, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, I know everything that he does, there's an entire story behind it that we're not able to see. And after 120 years, we'll receive all our answers. But now, but it's a test of our Muna. Now, but in the end of this period, we will only to stand in front of HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the upcoming Rosh Hashanah and truly testify whether or not we stood 
with faith and we passed HaKadosh Baruch Hu's test of HaKadosh Baruch Hu trying to avoid something bad coming to us by giving to us uh, uh, things that are culpable, things that, that we can deal with and seeing if we stand with that test. And if we will be able to stand up with that test, who knows the shefa, who knows the blessing that HaKadosh Baruch Hu will give us and our families. So Abutai, all the suffering, all the bad that is happening in our life, we need to remember that they are all blessing from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Maybe we don't understand why it's a blessing. Maybe we cannot explain why it's a blessing. But we always need to remember that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is our father. And our father will never want Shalom to bring any harm upon his kids, any harm upon uh, uh, Bnei Israel. And that is all, what about, I want everyone to, to hold on. I want everyone to think. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is El Achum Bechanon Echapayim Vav Chesed. He is a leader of kindness. He will always lead us with, merciful, with mercy. He will always bless us and you always want the best for us. There's no father that wants bad for his kid. Sometimes the father needs to, to take his kid to the doctor and get a shot that hurts or get a surgery that hurts. But he's doing it out of complete kindness in order to avoid something worse. And that's about what we have to hold on to. We have to look at everything in our life to say, thank you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We have to brace for better times. We have to brace to receive the blessing. We have to brace by to pass this test and to reach to a place of complete Shekhinah and complete uh, a blessing from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu give one big Shef Ad Bediday. Amen. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu hear all our prayers. Amen. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu turn all our negativity to complete kindness, all Amen. our gvura to kindness. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu bring amtaka to all our dinim. May all our hearts wishes be fulfilled. Amen. Amen.